Good day, YouTube. It is Friday the 13th, January 2023. This is my 1988 Club Car DS gas engine golf cart. It's been kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, fought a fuel system issue for a very long time, and I'll explain to you in a minute what I finally figured out. And uh, yeah, it was my fault probably the whole time. Um... But I've taken this out numerous times to our local fairgrounds where they have a really nice big parking lot where I can just go drive it and drive it and drive it. Again, we're going to use this golf cart to chase uh, eight dirt track races at seven race tracks this summer. Um, obviously, we're going to tow it behind the camper and we're going to have something to run around when we're camping at all seven facilities. So it needs to be reliable we don't need to drag this thing around for a thousand miles or something um if it doesn't work um it runs around the neighborhood just fine um but i take it out to our fairgrounds is when i was sorting out my fuel system issue which i now have sorted took it out yesterday actually twice and about halfway through my little test um it starts losing power and it, i realized it wasn't related to fuel because it never wants to die it'll always run just runs low on power and when i was sorting out my fuel issues it did that a couple times to me as well but i related it to fuel issues because i also had a fuel issue so fast forward to yesterday afternoon took it out again after i had brought it back I re-cleaned the carburetor, not that it needed it, it's a brand new carburetor. It had a couple little specks of dirt in it, but nothing in the jets. I realized my loss of power wasn't due to lack of fuel. So I have an engine issue, is what I have determined. Um, it acts like an engine that's about to seize up, to tell you the truth, but um, yet it spins over fine with the starter generator, spins over fine by hand as it always has but as you know over those last few months i've been working on this thing um when i'm out testing it and i pop the hood to deal with my fuel issue i see a lot of smoke vapor coming from this area here and i'm like how does oil get there it's like no valve cover gasket or nothing there it's just a flathead right there's no oil in the head but the telltale signs are there that there is something escaping let me take you around this side and uh hopefully there's enough light in here to see um below the head you can see how oily it is so the head's dry oily below so adding two and two i think what i have is a head gasket issue and to get that head off, you know, the starter generator bolts to the back side of it. Yeah, there's no access here. There normally is, but this is a body off an electric cart, so they don't put an access panel there. Um, and I've got a back seat on this thing, so guess what I get to do? Yep, pull the back seat and pull the body so that I can get to the rest of that engine to pull the tins and pull the head off. And change the head gasket and the head gasket's 50 bucks why i have no idea i thought i could buy a whole rebuild kit for that thing for 50 bucks but a head gasket alone is 50 dollars. so what are you going to do and i don't know that they made that engine for other than these golf carts from like the early 80s until 92 like 83 to 92 or something i forget the exact year but um i don't think that engine exists in a rototiller or generator or anything else so that's you know when the parts get scarce parts get expensive so i guess that's the way it is so i guess i don't have any choice but to start pulling the rear seat and pulling the body off and really once you get the rear seat off you're getting these bolts and these bolts out then it's just a matter of these bolts here there was probably more bolts in it originally but there isn't now <laughs> um and then we'll get into pulling the tins and pulling the head off of it. I have not ordered the head gasket yet. Um, I just discovered this last night. So we'll uh, let's dig in. And I, I've got so much invested in this thing now, I can't stop. So, and uh, once we get the body off of it too, it might be 
more fun to put the belts and replace the belts and such while we have that uh, more accessible. All right. Okay. Have fun. Here we go. Um, it's a uh, no big deal, I guess. But I'll just start pulling bolts and pull this off. I'll bring you back when I have it separated. Okay. Rear seat's off. Okay. Body's off. The old naked DS here. So, uh, four bolts to get the front tins off. One down there. One up here. One over here. Long extension. They're all half inch head bolts. And then one down there at about, oh, five o'clock. And I guess the easiest way to get to it is to jack it up and go from underneath. Kind of a braille method kind of deal. In my case, it was evidently too difficult for the last person to replace. So it is absent. It's not there. So uh, should be mine should be loose enough to come off there somehow. I'll get to... There we, go. there we go pull that off that's probably a good enough place for it just to sit we'll get the starter generator unbolted take the belt get these tins pull ahead see what kind of a disaster we have here i'll get back with you in a little bit all right guys didn't take too long got the starter generator bracket and stuff pulled back which bolts right there to the head as you see you can see below the head all the oil all the way around right then around the exhaust it would be there but it burns off right this custom exhaust somebody put on um all right let's pull the head shall we all right apparently 13 millimeter is the uh, socket of choice I hope this little guy has enough Good to do it. Oh yeah. Well, let's keep the socket. You know what? I just want to grab a little ratchet and see what it takes to see if that thing was just like loose. Not that we're just gonna tighten it or anything, but. Um, I was thinking uh, I'd be into a little bit of a fight here, but they're just like falling off. One handed, you know. Yeah, they kind of lost their torque over time, didn't they? It's already moving, which they should be a little stuck, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's totally oil soaked all the way around. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a problem. Is it our only problem? Gosh, I hope so. All right, I gotta find one. Get it coming. I guess this is a standby for news. What do you say we get this engine cleaned up? I have ordered the head gasket, yeah, 50 bucks. And we'll take about a week to get here. So I think we'll clean this motor up, get it ready to go back together. Um, we'll get this video uploaded for y'all and wait for that head gasket to show up and then hopefully we're kind of done working on this thing we're going to do belts on it i mean we're this far apart and those belts are old in fact the starter generator belt is crispy um yeah so let's just start off with a gasket scraper and get the big stuff off then we'll
find us a wire brush, wire wheel on a drill. Get the rest. This thing gonna run pretty good. I mean, that piston in there is nicely solid in there. I mean, there's no movement to it, so there's no wear. I can see a paper sticker on the other side of this. I'm not saying this motor's been replaced. It could have been there from day one, too, but I mean, you never know. You never know. As much as I have fought this thing, something positive would be awesome, you know? Oh, I promised to tell you what I my fuel system issues were. Okay, so um, I've since in since I've owned this, and I can't remember how long it's been, four or five years ish, and really without using it, it just it stored in the barn. Um, I've replaced the carburetor. I mean, purchased new ones after cleaning and stuff the old ones. Uh, three times. Three new carburetors. Not that the new carburetors were bad, but it, even with non-ethanol fuel, it still sits a long time. And uh, one needle went bad in one, and I swapped one from another old carburetor back into it. And it still was chasing a fuel system issue, so I felt the need to just start all new again and anyway we're on new carburetor number three but I've had the carburetor off more times than I can count okay many many times um, also fuel pumps um, four new ones and finally I've, there was a little someone had posted a note on a forum that I had seen and I really hadn't thought much about it but this has an oil dipstick in it okay um, I'm used to kind of filling oil up to the threads of the cap right and that's what I did with this I've changed the oil many times one the car the carburetor that the needle and seat failed actually filled the engine with gasoline and it run all over the floor and it was a mess um, so I've changed the oil in this many times and I always just fill it up to the like almost to the top of the threads and that is too much oil for this um, which caused it to push oil out the the vacuum port that goes to the vacuum operated fuel pump and basically make the fuel pump not pump anymore okay so it's got oil in the vacuum side of it and it just wouldn't pump anymore and I didn't I didn't determine that for a long time I'm glad I didn't video it all because it had been embarrassing but hey you live and learn right that's what it was so if you're experiencing fuel issues and stuff figure out what the correct amount of oil is so I found another thing online that said this thing was supposed to hold 40 ounces of oil so I drained the oil, I put 40 ounces in there, and the last many ounces just ran everywhere. So 40 ounces isn't the right number. So I ended up with a syringe and a tube sucking oil back out of it, and to where I got it just down from the full mark on the dipstick, okay? I'm going to guess it's right out of quart, but uh, don't quote me on that. So this thing holds about a quart of oil nothing more or you have the same problem i've had so i was chasing a problem that i was causing myself right it was my fault but we got there figured it out figured it out and that now it was running good until i had this problem and it's obvious that this had this problem for a while so i don't really know what run good means right i don't know So, in a week, we're going to find out what Run Good is all about. Let me rig up a, a wire brush. All right, let's get this cleaned up. All right, gloves and safety glasses.
Probably good than that. Now we'll kind of do some clean in there. All right, we'll take a little carb cleaner and clean those surfaces. Close. One more time. Close enough. Okay. Now we'll do the head. That's close enough. Not perfect. It's perfect as it needs to be. So. Let's wait for a gasket, shall we? In the meantime, let's uh, post this video up. And uh, wait for Amazon. Guys, thanks for watching, comment, subscribe, and thumbs up on the way out, please. And we'll continue this video as soon as parts come in. We'll put the head gasket back on, put this thing back together, put new belts on it. Take it out for a proper test drive. I think we'll be good to go. I hope, because I got other golf carts to work on. Later.